Here are the top three components that you need to make your own induction annealer. So if you've thought of doing any kind of induction annealing or induction melting, whatever it is that you're trying to do, making your own is really a pretty affordable way to go, but you gotta know what components to use and how to put them together and make it all work. So I'm gonna show you these top three components that you gotta think about as you're starting your own build. Maybe you can get started on your own way. So component number one that you're gonna wanna think about is your power supply. This will take your alternating current in your house, your standard plugs, and convert it into DC current that the rest of your circuits is going to need. Now you have several different options for how much power a power supply is able to provide. That will really affect your annealing speed. I wouldn't go much lower than 400 watts. 1,000 watts can really cook some stuff. I use 1,000 watts personally and things move much faster. The downside to that is that your 1,000 watt power supply puts that much more stress on your other components. So just keep that in mind. Item number two you're going to want to think about is the heart of it. It's your ZVS board. Your ZVS is where the power supply is going to send the power to. This actually takes the DC current and turns it back into alternating current, runs it through a coil, and that back and forth motion with it is what induces the heat, induction heat. So whatever we're putting that on, gets hot. And component number three is your timer. You need a way to control it. The easiest way to do that is with a timer. There are other methods that you can try to apply to that as well, but I've found that this kind of timer works really well. When that timer is signaled to start sending power from the power supply to the ZVS board, it will start a countdown and it will stop automatically when the right amount of time is done. That way you can get the most consistency from every time that you turn the machine on. And for those of you who've been following along, the course of how to put all this together and make it all work is now live. It's now under membership. So click join below and go to the fan memberships there. You'll get ex access to exclusive videos. You're going to learn everything from how to wind the coil, how to wire it up, all the different components, things to watch out for. You're also going to have access to me to ask any questions you have along the way. I will be available to help as you're putting yours together. You may come across something. Oh, I'm not sure exactly how that was. Maybe I didn't explain it very clearly and so I'm going to be able to help you work through and get you up and running with your own induction annealer. It's all coming into this and I've tried to keep it very simple so that way just about anybody can do it. So click join, become a fan, and start watching today. Thanks.